Hey everybody, today's review is on this uh, mascara from Essence. It's called Lash Mania Reloaded False Lash Mascara. The little description here on the tube says mascara for incredible volume and false lash effect, no clumps, ophthalmologically approved. And so I just want to talk a little bit about my experience with this mascara. You may remember that there is a particular Essence mascara that I absolutely love. This has been an Emily Award winner. Um, one of my absolute tip-top drugstore mascaras, and it's the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. So when I got this, and this was sent to me by Essence, I thought, is this going to top you know, the pink tube that I know and love. The short answer is no. Um, I do think this mascara has some really good qualities, but it's also got some deal breakers for me in a mascara. When you look at this brush, you can see it's super flexible, starting right here where it hooks on to the wand. Um, just a very flexible rubber bristle brush. And if you get a really close look at it, you can see that there are kind of like six separate divisions of um, bristles coming off of this brush. This is like a lot of little individual combs encircling this wand. As we go through the application, I'll talk to you a little bit about some of the things I notice with this mascara. Um, first off, with the first coat, and I do curl my lashes first, but something I notice almost on contact is that this really straightens out my curl. And I really don't like that because my lashes naturally, they almost want to point downward, folks. They want to like like cover my eye up a little bit. So it is kind of a task to find a good mascara that doesn't totally reverse the curl that I've done, but I think maybe just the weight of this mascara, you know, it's not a, a super wet formula, but it's not the driest of the dry either, and sometimes more dry formula mascaras help my curl out a bit more, but this one kind of straightened them out. I noticed good length though, um, building off of this, and I noticed pretty good separation. And I do apply this to the lower lashes as well. Um, it can be a little bit tricky because, I mean, this isn't like a mini-sized wand or anything, so you've got to kind of be careful there on the lowers. Before my first coat on my upper lashes gets totally dry, that's when I like to go in with the second coat because I feel like that's when the mascara is at its best point to build upon itself. And so I do get some more length with that, a little more thickness, not quite as much thickness per lash as I would like. Again, I love I love the look of false lashes. I love the look of a lot of lashes on my upper lash line and anything that can thicken what I have and make me look like I've got a lot of lashes. That's what I'm after. That's what this mascara does. I don't think you want to go three coats with this mascara. It seems to start clumping the lashes together at that point. It's just not everything I wanted it to be. I want to keep my curl and I just don't feel like it's really a false lash mascara. You know, that that is kind of one of the ultimate claims a mascara can make. Another problem for me, something I just can't take with a mascara, is flaking. And with this, I do experience flaking. I noticed it fairly early on after like my first application. I noticed that I was having, you know, some little flakes uh, on the lower lash line. Just, you know, those teeny tiny specks. And then after, you know, an entire day had passed, it was more of kind of that smudgy, just, you know, slightly dim look there under your lower lash line and you know, oh my gosh, my mascara has been smudging. We've all got different lashes. It's kind of like having different hair types, you know? And I feel like my lashes, you know, I'd like them to be thicker. I'd like them to be longer. I'd like them to not point down so much, but that, it is what it is. And different mascaras are going to respond differently to my needs. If you have wonderfully curled lashes, and you want the added length and separation, um, this could do a good job for you, but I still question this mascara across the board for anybody on the amount of flaking and a little bit of smudging that I noticed by the end of the day. So not a mascara I would recommend, but if you're looking for like an awesome and super affordable drugstore mascara to try, I would totally recommend the I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara from Essence. So I hope this review helped you out. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.